Good morning everybody We are in the town of Pontian And what else but to half bike The day which is a public holiday again Thank God we already had our new Prime Minister Which I believe will bring a lot of changes to the new Malaysia uh, But back to the story that uh, we are having a holiday today A special holiday which is actually it's a Monday but uh, our Prime Minister decided to bestow us with this kind of public holiday especially to celebrate uh, Malaysia in having new leaders to make changes to our world to our country for a start so I'm not sure whether we can cycle over here the last time I went here was with Alan and as I remembered they do have a pavement pathways like the one in front of us over here but it's not so kind of flat it is ah look at that this is nice so the plan is to go straight there to the corner turn back and if there the pathway is extended to the other side over there we're going to see some boats okay so <coughs> introducing my lovely wife with her new headphones she's not listening to what i'm saying she has her headphone on and she's going to enjoy the view of the beach of Pontian while I fanatically enjoy my cycling by care so I think I better stretch first because it's been like you know after a sleep after a good night's sleep everything gets stiff so here we go are we recording double checking we are recording yeah. It's a nice start. Let's conserve energy so that we can go farther, okay? Isn't this lovely, huh? I wish you guys could be here joining me. Almost got distracted there by the beautiful girl smiling at me. <laughs> but let's not get too excited about that because do remember that we are still cycling and we have to focus on the bicycle. Hello, Uncle. Good morning. <laughs> Some nice uncles having a enjoyable morning this part of Pontian which is called the Pontian Kuchil there's a guy in front of us doing his fishing so let's not get too near with him for the worry for the worry that we might scare the fishes away and that will not be any good for his morning that he has planned to do some fishing right let me bring you nearer to the water line to see what we can find or see right oh, look at that a lot of shellfishes and some barnacles over there this is not pleasant to fall into right so if you uh, bringing your children over here just make sure that they don't fall in right it's gonna hurt okay wow such a nice bright day it's a good day to do a recording because nature and God has provided us with enough lightings are there any crabs here nope no crabs <clears throat> so 
so we're back to where we started from with my lovely wife here and one thing to share with you if you are cycling way uh, far from your home just bring along a backpack okay so that you can bring your wallets your credentials your uh, handphones your car case put it in there because you wouldn't know if a policeman or enforcers would like to check who you are would like to make sure that we are we are truly a Malaysian uh, citizen and they would like to know whether uh, illegal immigrants are roaming around without any credentials and they might take you away okay let's continue on our journey and the plan is to make a curve there and reach the other part of this uh, coastline I hope that the pavement or the pathways continue right till the end Wow, I'm gonna go through some vegetation Wow Fish, a watery pod which I do not wish to wet my bike because the chains might get rusty and it's not going to be good for your bike and right in front here we have another place where they stack these bricks Let's find a place where you can start from. Okay. So over here we have to be a little bit extra cautious because the pavement is wet and muddy so don't slip and also it's quite narrow another watery anyway let's just get past through it slowly so that the water doesn't splash onto our chains uh oh There's a, there's a stick crossing our path so just to avoid any incidents we just have to hop off as I've uh, mentioned before hop off your half bike if you find that you need to so that you will be safe muddy let's cross through these grassy knolls what do you call them? grassy knolls and the pavements over there are getting narrower and muddier so let's not do that right cross this grassy lawn on to this proper pavement and Let's see where it is to. We have some shops over here. Be careful of cars, yeah? Let them through so that you will not be a nuisance to traffic. Alright. Let's walk. Let's walk our half bike in a proper way. Wouldn't like to take this curve 
while there are cars around first thing is because we'll get nervous and we panic and we will then be doing a good curve and the cars would also be nervous if they drive past by you okay morning sa pagi <laughs> Okay, right in front of us is the place where uh, I was saying to you about the jetty where they dock their boats, fishermen dock their boats and uh, take down their fishy sea products and right or even do some maintenance works on their boat or engines okay So for my subscribers, you might remember that I've been here before with Alan Silver Fox and we walk around the town of Pontian trying the Asam Pedas which is personally I don't like it myself so it's a worse feeling for Silver Fox Hey, let's take a little breather, pack up my half bike onto the roadside, the curb I mean, and then whew, let's just sit over here and I need a drink, which is why I brought along my backpack so that I could bring along a bottle of cool water guys we're so lucky we have giant mud skippers right in front of our eyes right on right in our faces look at that big ones I thought they were crabs but they're not one thing that I find surprising is when you see mud skippers you can't find any crabs if you find crabs there will not be any mud skippers around does this mean that uh, one of them is scared uh, from each other I mean maybe the crabs each eat the mud skippers for lunch or is it the other way around okay right we got enough oxygen in our lungs now so let's continue our cycle right to the edge of this uh, ship dock is that what they call it we have cars so let them through first All right okay we're clear to go clear to go all right so as we have noticed there are several cars coming in to this the end of this uh, what they call this jetty this is not a jetty right looks like a causeway they stack proper um, cement works but why are they coming here to enjoy the view or maybe to get fresh fishes we are going to find out soon enough
Okay. Traffic's are getting busy. So I decided to hop off the bike and just walk it right to the edge of this. Okay, it's clear now. Okay guys, enjoy the view of these fishing boats parked or docked at this area to get the job done. Huh? When it gets nearer to the edge of this dock, the road seems to be wider and I think this is because they are trying to accommodate these car parks where the cars can park and enjoy the view because now we have confirmed that there is no fish selling activities right here. Yeah, they're here to just enjoy the view. Ah, such a nice, so serenity, serenity. Is there any words about that? Serenity, the town of Pontian. I wonder if I can go over there, but it's too far. Let's try that. Another parking of my half bike right there. Because I want to show you. I mean, no, I'm not trying to boast my, uh, to boast to you guys, but I don't even know what you can find at the edge of these waters. Nothing. Rocks and boulders. And boats. No fishes except for those mud skippers right in front of us there. Mud skippers. Wow, they are giants over here. Alright, let's try to go to the place where I've, I've pointed before, right? Just now, about five minutes ago, yeah? So, we have super bikers in front of us there. Such fortunate persons. But this is all I can find. A half bike, this is not cheap actually. It's one ringgit short, one ringgit shy of a thousand ringgits, but at least it's much cheaper than the ones originally came from Europe, which cost around uh, 5,000 ringgits, including the uh, shipping fees. And that was because, that is because they have spe special installations on them, right? Gears uh, and uh, tube, tube the rear wheels and with drum brakes. So we have reached the Dataran Pontian which I've pointed to you just now but I decided to drive in my car because it has a bridge quite narrow and wouldn't like to have an incident with all of the other vehicles there right so is this a oh it's just it's a step so we have to go down have to go down wow the sun is shining sun shiny and I'm practically frying myself in this heat <laughs> I just make sure that uh, I will have a, a good drink of water enough to keep me hydrated and will be fine so what is so special about this Dataran Pontian it is a square where if they are having some like a fun fair or a fair they are going to hold it right here So a good thing about this is it's right next to the coastline and we were 
from that side over there, that point there. And I've, I thought that I can just cycle around and reach here. But I can't. Because it's far away. Too far for a half bike with no seats. And there are a lot of vehicles on the roads. Which I try to avoid for the safety reasons of me and the other vehicles, drivers and bikers, riders. Oh, look at this enjoyable view on our left. I can say the tide is like in the middle of it. It's not a high or low tide, but uh, yeah, just halfway. Can't say whether it's going up or down. Wow, you have to hop, uh, hop down because the pavement has two levels, a little bit lower, a little bit higher, and the lower one seems to be wobbling and scares the hell out of me. If I file down, there's many girls in front of us, not good for my reputation. <laughs> so we can see some trees growing even in the salt water of the sea not sure whether they are mangroves so this is the replica of the crown of his royal highness the sultan of johor when i was here before with silver fox uh, we are not allowed to go in because it was at the peak days of the dreaded COVID. Uh, right now they have they, they have still cordoned the place, but uh, not sure whether we can go in. Let's find the entrance and find out. They've placed these holes to prevent bikers and cars from entering. Not sure whether they allow scooters. Because in my case, it is a half bicycle and a half scooter. So I guess I have the right to go in there, right? Just make sure that there are no cars. I think better, yeah, it's a better idea to go through this, this payments area right inside that is uh, surrounding this replica of his royal highness crown right here. Yeah, this looks marvelous. Okay. Here is the replica on our left. Looks good. And from the looks of it, I don't think they allow cyclists to go in. <coughs> but the door is wide open. I don't know whether I can get punished for this but let's get respectful okay hop down our bike 
and just enjoy the view of this place huh? the fountain seems to be not working or they just shut it off or maybe there are some certain periods of times in a day where they will switch it on for people to enjoy but uh, I think they have did some studies and they found out that this is these are not the best of times to switch it on because the traffic of the gas are not high enough at this time so Bismillahirrahmanirrahim so this is the plaque where it uh, says here has been officially launched or opened by His Royal Highness the Sultan Ibrahim Ibn al-Rahim Sudaiskanda look at that guys majestic looking huh okay looks like a good place to bring your kids bring your kids and uh, do their play around playing around you have some girls and boys practicing probably they're getting ready for a competition or a show let's give them a good cheer or the best and yeah Let's continue on our journey. Not sure where we will be later on, but uh, let's just take this nice curve over here if we can do it. Yes, we can. road ends here let's see whether we can make this curve over here no not enough speed to do that so that's the stadium looks like a nice place to show you guys let's do it make sure no cars no cars make sure the roads are clear there's a car in front of us so we have to go to the left okay right there right and probably this pavement up here right this leads to way nowhere just the back of the stadium so let's go in front of it gonna look nice on my video this time ah huh? can see a couple of boys have a kicking of some balls and they have their own bikes proper BMX with seats right That's it. It's a moss over there and our left. A nice moss. And uh, yeah, me and Silver Fox Fitch here too when we were here before. So, what are these tracks for? Oh, these are for people to jog on. You can jog right around this field, soccer field. It's like a mini stadium of yours. Ah. Let's do that then. Because I don't see. Let's check it out whether we can go on the pavements of this main road 
they have payments here but I'm sure they're going to have some cutoffs right there and we can have to go down and all up again off again on again which is troublesome nothing much to see eh, though on the offices and uh, electric companies stations sorry the tele telecommunication workshops or stations so I think it's time for us to head back let's use this designated mini stadium okay yeah you see I can make this curve if it is not too narrow and if I anticipate it uh, earlier I can make all the curves because this is not a normal bike see then you can just turn anytime that you want anytime that you wish ah oh, there's a toilet there should we use the toilet let's use the toilet then let's hope that it's open I don't think it's open because it's gated it's already closed next time then Samara Juara at Pontian oh, it's a gym it's a gym gymnasium hi cat okay Berjalan jogging oh if you're walking take the left lane if you are jogging take the right one so where am I supposed to be since I'm half biking <laughs> even though if they have lanes for bicycles and lanes for scooters I can't make up my mind where to use which one right ah, this is nice special pavement just for me to go through okay guys lactic acid is gathering on my thigh oh, it feels like burning my muscles so hop off for a while maybe we can sit right under this shady tree and have a quick drink of water it's hot in Malaysia and you know, it always is it always is hot in Malaysia and let's have a drink over here right leave our bikes on, on to, onto the curb and have a drink right next to this crown replica So earlier before uh, we've cycled right at the edge of the water just now right there and now we are right at the front of it the front of this blue metal decks and I'd like to show you the I love Pontian signage while we go around circling this square which is a circle <laughs> a circleish square of Dataran Pontian the town of Pontian pretty much this is going to be get gets developed into a city and it's going to call the Bandaraya Pontian if it's for the 
good of everybody why not huh? I love Punjan with the love symbolized by a pineapple the place where you can get the most pineapple in Johor so guys with that that is the end of our adventure in Pontian half biking today and would like to thank you all for joining me and I hope that we'll meet again in my future vlogs till then goodbye take care be good and cheerio